Today we have a mid-century style dresser that is going to live in my son's bedroom. It has a laminate top, so it's not the greatest quality. The drawers are sliding wonky, but today we're going to give it a retro twist. So stick around for today's makeover. Hi friends, welcome to A Life Refurbished, where you are reminded that just like there's hope for these pieces of furniture, it doesn't matter how tough things get, there's always hope for you. So keep watching. A few months ago, I refinished this turntable for my teenager son, and I knew that as soon as he went into his bedroom, he would ask for a different dresser simply because the one that he had was more of an industrial style one and it just didn't go next to this cabinet that he fell in love with. So today we're trying to translate that retro feel on that turntable into this dresser and as you can see my husband is helping me today. Unfortunately he's not used to recording so he forgot to record himself cleaning the piece without the greaser before sanding but you guys know that I do this religiously in all of my videos just use a good degreaser before you start sanding here he's cuff sanding using 120 grit so our paint has something to hang on to we're not sure what we're gonna do to the front drawers we might do a partial stain and paint mix but to sand to bare wood you start with 120 and then follow with a 180 and finally a 220 until it's smooth from here on i'm taking over the piece so i'm using a furniture prep cleaner to wipe off all the dust that was left over and from here we're gonna be moving on to repairs i'm gonna be using some bando to cover up any of those deep dings and even a couple gouges that this dresser has you guys seen me use this product plenty of times it's a two-part body filler once you add the hardening cream which is this pink paste you have a few seconds to work with it before it starts getting really hard after 15 minutes you can sand it until smooth just an FYI, it has a strong smell, so I like to work on a ventilated area. I wear gloves to prevent the product from coming in contact with my skin as well. Anytime that you sand, anytime that you spray, remember to always wear a mask to protect your lungs. For this makeover, I'm using my 5-inch Orbital Electric Ray Sander from Surf Prep. Just doing a final wipe down before applying my primer and since today I want to put this new to me paint to the test as far as coverage, I'm using a clear primer. But I just want to clarify that if I was painting this color with a different paint brand, I would be using a white primer instead of a clear one because it does save you on paint coats. The paint brand that I'm going to be using is called Melange and they have a one step paint that claims to be self-priming. Being that this piece has quite a few imperfections, I just decided to play it safe and apply one coat of shellac. Things that I'm going to be watching for in the paint's performance are self-leveling properties and coverage once again, that's why I'm doing this clear primer. My son chose a triangular design for the front drawers, which means that the drawers are going to partially be painted and partially left as they are. So I'm removing them to protect them from any overspray. Right here, 45 minutes have passed since I applied the last coat of clear shellac, which means that now I can scoff sand it with a 220 grit to knock down any sheen that might have been left over from it. This way, I can start painting. My son chose a color mix of half bohemian gold and half tobacco brown, once again from Melange Paints. I'm gonna be spraying this paint using my Flexio 3500 sprayer from Wagner. My first impression on this product is that I like how it sprayed, it went smooth. Normally, I spray two coats of paint, that's pretty average and standard for the paints that I use. However, I found this paint more translucent and I ended up needing four coats to achieve full coverage, so keep that in mind. 
I ended up running into a little bit of an issue, but I'll tell you about that in a minute here. When I came back outside to apply the second coat, I noticed that this one side had a lot of dripping. Not only is my first time using the paint, but also the sprayer, so it could have been user error. So I decided to wait it out, wait for that to dry in the midtime. I'm going to start taping the drawers and priming them. Just a quick tip to prevent the paint from seeping through the tape. I do a light coat of clear primer or you can also use clear top coat. Wait for that to dry before applying your first coat of paint. Also make sure that your paint coats are light. I found the self-leveling properties to be outstanding on this paint. It didn't matter if I brushed or sprayed. After the paint dry, it feels super smooth to the touch not sure if you guys notice that the drawers have a handle that's made of oak while the wood veneer on them is walnut so to bring a little bit of a contrast to our dresser and tight the whole piece together i'm sending these legs that are also made of oak down to bare wood to fix the area where the paint was not adhering, I went back and sanded it down until it fell smooth and then applied another coat of paint. But guess what? I ended up having the same problem again. I found it very strange that it was only this side of the dresser that was having issues. So I'm not sure what happened, but after I sanded it the second time and applied the paint for the third time, the paint finally adhered. The next day, even though this is a one-step paint, but being that the dresser is gonna be living in my teenager's bedroom and my teenager can be reckless sometimes, I decided to play it safe and apply one coat of this polycrylic top coat from Mingwax. Before we take a look at the final results, let's remember how this dresser looked. And this is how it looks now. My son said, this looks swag, mom. I hope that you enjoyed today's makeover. Do you agree with my son? Does this makeover look swag? Let me know in your own words what do you think of today's transformation. And I will see you guys next week. <laughs>